Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome back to Lucid 9. Without any further ado, let's get right back to where we left off last time. Afternoon classes are another dreary pass. This time even Yahiko is sullen, staring into his desk and murmuring nonsensical words under his breath. The moment the bell rings, Masato blazes into the classroom and lunges for me. I instinctively... <coughs> Sorry. I instinctively crawl beneath, beneath the desk, bracing myself for the full measure of his fury. You! I glance around the classroom. Nakiko is staring blankly at Masato. Elizabeth is once again immersed in conversation with the Saki is... Musaki! I wave frantically in her direction, but she's too immersed in her phone to pay me any heed! You know how many days you skipped track? Uh, three? WRONG! The answer is too many! Hey, look, I've been busy. Like how you been? Busy with what? Napping? Eating? Thinking? Erk. He's got a point. You disappoint me, man. Yeah? Join the club. Damn it! Just stop ditching! Well, I don't blame him. Bree <laughs> <sighs> strides into the classroom. To the room! She hesitates when she sees Misaki, but shakes it off in, a, in the blink of an eye. What makes you say that, eh? Well, you know... All you talk about is track. You was probably tired of hearing it by now. But I don't just run. I can swim too. And do basketball. She ignores him and the approaching Misaki and smiles gently at me. Don't worry. Mr. Ryota says that you're not in trouble. Mr. Ryota, why would... Oh, right. Shoji. The fight. But that's not what's important right now. She has to save me from Masato. Or Mas Masato. I don't know how to say these Japanese names. <laughs> say, Rui, don't you think it's awfully late and we should be... But Misaki rushes in front of me, reaching for Rui's hands. Rui, I need to speak to you about... Rui only steps back from both of us, staring blankly at Misaki. Why won't you listen? I told you the other day to leave me alone. It's you who isn't listening! I feel like I gave her a voice a long time ago, but I forgot to do it. Did I give her a voice? Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, I don't care. I told you the other day to leave me alone! It's you who isn't listening! She whips around on one heel and marches out of the, out of the room! Ah, shack it. Shack it. Ah, shack it. This too ill to deal. Great. What? What? Ah, shack it. This too ill to deal great wait what did you just what? but she flies past me and sprints out of the room right on Yuri's heels Masoto stares one wordlessly at her at her back mouth agape that girl Miyazaki that girl Miyazaki she was talking straight talking what Nothing. Ain't nothing. Wait, did you understand her? Uh, hang it! Hang it! You're changing the subject again, aren't ya? Ain't ya? What? what? Me? No! You gotta come to track, man! I'll drag you there myself! Time to resort to drastic measures since I was ditched by everyone. Wait, actually, where did Yaki where did Yahiko go? Huh. 
That's weird. Well, what's it gonna be? Oh, would you look at the time? I gotta go! Don't do it, man, don't! And I promptly run for my life, lunging over desks and chairs and bowling down the hallway. Same. <laughs> There's only one safe place from being bulldozed by his fury. One place that can be a haven for a refugee. I slam my fist against the door, ignoring the bewildered stares of passing students. Mr. Ryota, Mr. Ryota, open up before I die! Ah, Dagonavit kid. <laughs> Dagonavit kid, why do you always have to interrupt me in the middle of a battle? <laughs> Nevertheless, the door creaks open. I jump in and kick it shut, twisting the lock with what may or may not have been a little more force than necessary. So anime. I could just see this playing out. And oh my god. It's so dramatic and so good. Mr. Ryota is staring at me with eyebrows lifted and mouth slightly agape. No, mo no doubt taking in my unkept mass of hair and sweat beating on my forehead. First to fight and now running from someone? You just love trouble today, don't you, kid? Probably more like love, like more like trouble loves me. Oh, kid. Important life lesson. Trouble only finds people who are looking for it. So basically, I deserve everything that happens to me. But I didn't say that. Just that sometimes people who want nothing more in life than to go through, do nothing significant, and pass on in peace. Well, they actually want a whole lot more. I don't understand. Well then, maybe we should talk about something else. I hesitantly take a seat and glance over my shoulder. No sign of the marvelous Masa. Since you're here, I guess we'd better have a proper session. Why are you being chased, hmm? Too popular with the girls? <laughs> As if. It was Masato Kurogane. He loves track, and I don't, so he's trying to change that. And I presume it's not working out so hot for you? Yeah, you could say that. Actually, it seems that Masanto's always been on my case because of track, even the first time we met. Ooh, flashback. Well, it was at last year's for I was at last year's club recruitment day. I remember hating that time. I remember hating that time. Well, to be fair, I hated everything, but especially the club recruitment day. No matter how quiet and insignificant I tried to be, someone would always call me out every time, every minute. They tried to get me to join language club, or music club, or art club, or even squirrel watching club. As you can imagine. By the time I met Masoto, I wanted to do nothing with clubs. I wanted nothing to do with clubs. Especially from someone who, frankly, frankly speaking, looked like the stereotypical idiot job. Hey, you! But contrary to popular belief, I actually did have some semblance of manners. So I stopped and turned to address this bothersome kid. Not interested. I accepted. I expected, uh, I expected some big smile or even some pleading, but to my shock, the guy immediately pulled back his fist and socked me right in the face. Ow! What the hell? Don't give me that fool! I, I ain't even said anything yet. Awful rude of you to not even give me a chance. You know what we call that? Uncivilized. I'm uncivilized? You're the one who just punched me. Aw, oh, you big baby. That wasn't even a gentle tap. The terrible thing was that he looked completely serious about it. To be honest, I briefly entertained the thought that he was part of an abusive household or something. And of course, the guy took my thoughtful silence for penitence and steamed ahead. That's more like it. My name's Masoto. Masoto Kuragane. What's yours? Leaving. You're leaving? Yeah, right now. Call me rude, but I was at my breaking point. Getting a fist straight to the nose wasn't exactly welcoming. I might have admired this guy's courage and utter disregard for social niceties, but other than that, he bugged me. A lot. Oh, 
Oh, I get it. Oh, that took me a minute. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you're you're leaving? Yeah, right now. Oh, I see what you did there. But you can't leave. Not before you've joined track. Track? Hell yeah! Our club, man. It binds you for life. Makes you sweat. Gives you pain. Makes you sweat. Yeah, that's what. That is what. Sorry, I'm stupid. Let me reread that. All that. It binds you for life. Makes you sweat. Gives you pain. Stretches your physical constitution until you think you're gonna die. This guy thought that was a great scale. That was a great sales pitch. He had a long way to go. Yeah, not interested. Not at all, man. Check could save your life, just like it saved mine. Save his life? Yeah, really. Good for you. Ain't it? Check's literally a lifesaver, man. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, where are you going? I'm just getting to the best part. I cried on the inside, but patiently nodded my head. If you get good enough, you can get a scholarship. This place, this place don't come cheap, you know. Even a little amount would help your parents. Hmm, things are beginning to make sense. Is that why you're in track? <laughs> come to think of it, you still haven't told me your name. Interestingly enough, I found that I was actually beginning to like this guy. At least he wasn't superficial like everyone else. If anything, he was the opposite. He wore his heart on his sleeve. Besides, I needed something to do while Yuri was in drama. What else was I gonna join? Art? Dance? Squirrel watching? I'm Yama. Yama Ishimoto. Huh? What kind of name is that? My parents like poetry. No way! Oh gosh. Who's probably gonna learn about poetry and literature as a waste of time? Who's your favorite? Matsuo Basho? Smash Basho? Kobayashi Isa? Or maybe foreign guys like Edgar Allan Poe or William Shakespeare? I'm sorry, every time I see the name William, I die inside because that's my ex's name. You like poetry? Of course I of course I do! Poetry is the manliest way to cry! <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> this is the manliest way to cry. This guy only got stranger. What about literature? Manliest way to hate people! Science? Manliest way to take stuff apart! Way to put stuff together! History? Manliest way to protect the future to predict the future. Mm, by any chance, what are your grades? Average of 99. No way. The highest class average I ever had was a 92. This guy was smarter than me? I I don't understand you at all. It's okay, you don't need to. You just gotta join track! On second thought, I didn't think he was smarter. He just studied harder. Studied harder. Still, it took up guts and passion. And everything I didn't have. Okay, I'll try it out. But only for a little bit. Ha! I knew you'd come around. Come on, let's go! Let's get to track! Already? Don't you have other unfortunate souls to recruit. Nah, the others will take care of them. Let's go! <laughs> the manliest way to cry. <laughs> the manliest. And that was how I met Masato. I was never really a regular track member, but for some reason he always wanted me to be. Even now I don't really understand why. He probably just wants to help people become their best. Then why would he pick me? me when there's so many people who would love track and running and competitions and all that crap. Isn't that the whole point of picking you? Because I'm useless, so turning me into somebody useful means a lot? Nah, because you're challenged. Ah, you know, that doesn't exactly make me feel any better. 
Why not? You should feel very, very loved. Oh, I do. A bit too loved. My sister probably sees you like a little cousin or a younger brother. Do you know that? What? My sister does? Why would you do that? You know, kid, sometimes there's just nice people in the world and you shouldn't question it. And sometimes there are ulterior motives behind everything. Masato Kuragane, ulterior motives? <laughs> well, that's true, I guess. It's not like Masato would fake, her, would fake anything. But it still doesn't make any sense. Why would he choose me, a random stranger, as his little brother? To be honest, I've usually thought of Masato as my little brother, since he's, you know, kind of obtuse and not cynical and embittered by the world. Something like that. But kind of innocence. Maybe you shouldn't be asking why your friends love you, Yama. Instead looking instead of Oh fuck. Sorry. Ugh. Sh sorry. Ugh. Mm. Maybe you should be looking for ways to return that love instead of looking for ways to deserve it. I sounded really cool, didn't I? I'm leaving. Oh, come on, kid. That was good. Admit it. It was good. That's really good. That was really good. I admit it. I'm still living. I'm still. I'm still leaving. He only chuckles and slaps a hand on my shoulder. Wow, that's abusive. I'm just kidding. Have a good day, yeah. Have a good day, kid. Wow. I only nod wordlessly in response as I step out of his office. You know, that actually does make a lot of sense. That is pretty good. And that did sound cool. That's really good advice, actually. I might I might take that. <laughs> I feel like that could actually apply to me. Because most of the time, I'm like, why do I deserve love? Like, why do people love me? But it's like, huh. Instead of focusing my time on that, I could do what Mr. Rayona just said and return the love instead. Huh. I learned something from a game. Interesting. With that said, <laughs> this is going to be it for this episode of Lucid 9. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring that notification bell. And remember, die safely. Bye bye.